Hi, Lauren. Hi, Miles. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. You, uh, it's been a month and a half now into your chemo dreamo. Has it been that long? Well, it's six sessions, right? Wow, yeah, it has been. Good How's it going? Grief. It's actually going really well. The last CA-125 test I had taken, the test had plummeted from 1137 down to 262, which was like a 75% drop in only three complete sessions. The doctor was amazed. So I am thrilled. I am thrilled. So it's a great Christmas present since we are close to Christmas. Yes, we are. How are you feeling? I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm feeling good. The, CA, uh, the CAT scan, too, was uh, really good. The uh, doctor actually used the word great, um, which meant to her no lymph node involvement any longer. The tumors have all resolved. And in my mind, after just those few treatments, naturally I'm thrilled and I get to go through this until March. So <laughs> my uh, job now is to allow the chemo to continue to do what it's doing, which is to continue to heal me and not have it come back again and know that it's not going to hurt my body. And I know that singing is what's really helping me and that's what my chemo sabi is doing for and with me every single week. So that much has been wonderful. So you said you get to do this till March. Yeah. I mean, were you being sarcastic? Uh, well, no, that's my language. I, I, I don't say I have to do anything because as soon as I say I have to do something, I'm a victim. And I just don't use that language anymore. So when I say I get to, it's my honor, it's my privilege. This is what I get to do for my healing. And as soon as I uh, reframe it, it works to my advantage. And I think that's part of why I'm healing because I get to heal from ovarian cancer a third time. So yeah, it's very intentional. 